American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and KTVU is proud to shine a light on all the good work being done by organizations such as the Asian American Donor Program. It's dedicated to increasing the availability of potential stem cell donors for patients with life-threatening diseases that are curable by stem cell therapies, or by stem cell therapies and transplants. Let's get more now with Milana Yolanko, Director of Community Education for this program. Thanks so much for being here. First, explain why ethnicity matters when it comes to donations. Well, ethnicity plays a really big role because like how we inherit our hair color, our um, eye color. We also inherit our human leukocyte antigen types, um, which is what we need to match donors to patients. It's a little bit more complex than blood types, and some HLA types are more common in certain communities than others. Um, so that's why ethnicity is really important when looking for a matching donor for a patient. Yeah, so are members of the AAPI community less likely to find a donor? Unfortunately, yes. Um, patients who come from Asian and Pacific Islander backgrounds only have about a 41% chance of finding a match. Um, communities, no communities have a 100% chance of finding a match. Um, and people of multiracial backgrounds actually have the lowest at 18%. Okay, and is that because there's just a, a lack of awareness about the need and, and the lack of donors? I would say so. Um, because there's not enough donors on the registry, patients from these underrepresented communities have kind of a smaller pool of donors to find a match from. Um, so that's why it's really important for us to get as many people as we can on the registry so that patients have a much larger pool of donors um, that they can potentially find their life saving match from. Yeah, so what is the organization doing to try to increase the, the donor pool? Um, so our organization, we're really immersed in the community. We do a lot of one-on-one -on -one education, and then we're also on college campuses a lot. Um, we try to raise awareness by getting involved in different organizations, different events. And you know, with the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of that has stopped. Um, so we face a really big challenge in getting more potential donors on the registry to ultimately help save the lives of people who are suffering from blood cancers like leukemia. Yeah, I, I mean, your, your message to folks who are watching right now, I mean, this is a matter of life and death for, for so many people. Right, exactly. Um, so that's why it's really important for us to, you know, get the word out there, get educated about donating stem cells or marrow, it's not as intensive as a lot of people think. It's very similar to donating your plasma or platelets. Um, so, you know, if you can go on aagp.org slash ATVU, we have a lot of information there about how you can help patients who are in need of these transplants. All right, well, we appreciate you coming on. Milana Yolongo, thank you so much for being here. And again, if you would like to participate in today's Giving Day Drive to support the Asian American Donor Program, just head on over to our website, ktv.com slash giving day.